Hi, in this video we're going to find a formula for the sequence. The sequence is 1, 3, 5, 7, and the three dots indicate that it goes on forever. So to find a formula for the sequence, we're going to make an observation. So notice that we're basically adding 2 each time. Right? So we're just doing plus 2, plus 2, plus 2. And so whenever you have a sequence that each term except the first is obtained by adding a number and the same number over and over, this is called an arithmetic sequence. You may think, isn't that word arithmetic? No, it's actually pronounced arithmetic, and I believe that's because it's an adjective. So in this particular case, um, we're adding two over and over again. So there is a formula for arithmetic sequences. It says that the nth term, and typically we use a for this, but you can use x, but I'll use a. The nth term of an arithmetic sequence is equal to the first term plus n minus 1 times d, where d has a name. It's a special name. It's called the common difference. By the way, just extra knowledge, the analog of this for multiplication is a geometric sequence. In that case, it's not the common difference, it's the common ratio, and we use the variable r. So this is kind of like a geometric sequence, except you're adding, so it's called arithmetic. All right, so a sub 1 is the first term, which we know is 1. And the common difference, that was a key giveaway to determine that it was arithmetic. It's 2, because we're just adding 2 over and over again. So now we plug everything into our formula. So you have 1, and then n minus 1 times 2. So this is 1, multiply the 2, multiply by negative 1 here, so we get 2n minus 1, and this is valid for n greater than or equal to 1. And that should give us the numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, etc. The next one's going to be 9. For example, if we plug in 1, 2 minus 1 is 1. Plug in 2, 4 minus 1 is 3, etc. So it works out perfectly. Short video, just wanted to show you how to come up with a pattern for this particular sequence, which happens to be arithmetic, so we can rely on this known formula, which it's useful to know, right? The more math you know, the easier it is to figure out new problems like this that arise. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.